The Spanish language is not a Latin American language. It's a language the Sp Is she going to say of colonialism and oppression that the Spanish brought over with the oppressive conquistadores or whatever? I don't even know if that was... Spanish conquistadores. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> That one, I must pre I must have pre I was just pre-watching it. I was just pre-watching it. I don't know how, but I took a break from my stream. She tweeted this hours ago, and I pre I pre-watched it. <laughs> Forced upon Latin American people. I'm sorry. The only reason we're Latin people and not Native American people is because of that distinction. So be mad at me all you want for misspelling words in Spanish. Be mad at me all you want for mispronouncing words in Spanish. That doesn't take away from the fact that I am a Mexican-American, Native American woman. We're trying to make a good show for kids. For kids that feel left out. For kids that are different. For kids who... Well, what was wrong with Dora the Explorer? <laughs> what did I miss? The premise of the show takes place during a summer when this little girl's 12 cousins move in with the family. People thought it was very stereotypical, like this one Twitter user who said, Ah, oh, yes, all Latinos live with 457 relatives, all in one home. Everything is dirty and pure chaos. Okay, can I hit on this for one second? Stereotypical is not always bad. Sometimes stereotypical stuff is nice, for exactly the reason that it's stereotypical, because sometimes it helps people from that disaffected group relate to those particular people. If it is a common experience that Latinos live with a lot of family members, having a Latino that lives with a lot of family members might give them something to like, like, oh, cool, like this, I feel like I'm getting represented. Like the, um, like the Everything Everywhere All at Once movie. Like imagine being like, wow, stereotypical, second generation daughter has issues with traditional grandparents. Nice stereotyping there, right? Like, it doesn't make sense. Of course, they're gonna talk about a minority's experience in a particular country, and some of it is gonna be stereotyped because those are the experiences they tend to have, right? Like, I, that's it's not necessary. Now, if you do it in like a really disrespectful or gross way, you can have problems, but like stereotypical experiences aren't always the worst, you know? Diversity in your cast and your stories is really, really, really good. And and I think yeah. everybody likes likes all of these things more for it, but it's not good when you're like, look, look at this, look at this, look at how diverse this is, look, 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 and you're constantly bringing attention to it. I think that is ultra fucking cringe. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, like so in the Everything Everywhere All at Once movie, like the mixing in of like, I think it's Cantonese they speak with English, like these types of things are really cool. They make the movie feel very authentic. They get like Asian actors it's for all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, like that's really cool. It feels cool. But there's never like, I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't think there's ever a moment in that movie where they're like, oh, I'm so glad we did this because we're Asian and we're better than white people, <laughs> right? Whereas it feels yeah. like a lot of movies today would do that. I think the reason why A24 is in part like so successful and I hope that they don't get destroyed is because they've like followed the principle of what like particularly like progressives have been always fighting for um but they're applying the principle not like the law right yeah. where they're not being like where like a girl walks in in like a suit and she's like my name is black captain woman and i am a woman who is also black and lgbtq and i will stop you and it's just like we, mm -hmm. we got it right like it, it's just so much more natural where it's just like it's just like a normal asian family that makes sense and the asian daughter is like dating a white girl all of that makes sense sure. she's like bringing up lgbtq issues in a supernatural human way mm -hmm. um which is why i think they're doing it well and i i feel like if we move if we move like the left back in that direction, I feel like it's gonna be like so much more powerful, but so much of like this online progressive space, especially, which I think like the culture war is like these types of movies. Yeah, the yeah the online stuff is just super cringe. I don't I don't know what to say. I like I wish I could find these people in real life to like scream at them because holy fucking shit. <laughs> Gee, well, just... The problem is in real life they're not like that. That's like yeah, sure. maybe or they'll like they'll concede very quickly to how like unreasonable they're being on a lot of points maybe, but. Yeah, Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. It's just, yeah, it's gotten a little bit, gotten a little bit cringe, I'd say. A, little, a wee bit cringe. All the things around the guy that got killed on the subway, like, for instance, it's like people are, you Holy can tell that, like, shit. a lot of people are, like, they're, the height of their lives was, like, fucking George Floyd and the BLM protests, yeah. and they just want to, like, go back to that. Um, and yeah. it's like, bro, Jesus. Like, not every single black person that gets killed needs to be, like, the next George Floyd. Like, we got it.